Hi everyone. Um, this talk is about OnyxJS, which is a JavaScript library to run Onyx model in a browser and Node.js. Uh, this is Emma from Microsoft. Slide 2. JavaScript is one of the most important languages. As a web technology is very reports, JavaScript is used by 95% of websites and it tops the list of the most popular client-side languages. Another important scenario using JavaScript is Electron apps. Electron enables you to uh, create desktop applications with pure JavaScript by providing a runtime with rich native APIs. If you can build a website, you can build um, a desktop app with Electron. There are a lot of well-known apps built with Electron. Slack, VS Code, and uh, GitHub Desktop, all of them are done with Node.js through Electron. And the experience is pretty good. Same as websites, Electron apps are cross-platform, compatible with Mac, uh, Windows, and Linux. Slide 3. As you know, machine learning has been uh, widely used for improving the product experience. Uh, can we run machine learning with JavaScript in a client-side applications? Originally, people have some concern. Given that um, JavaScript isn't designed for high-performance computing, and machine learning requires significant computation when executing a neural network model. Actually, uh, there are a lot of good techniques uh, to make JavaScript and machine learning work quite well together for developing more engaging and advanced um, client-side AI capabilities. There are some well-known benefits using client-side machine learning, like privacy protection. Since client-side models uh, work offline, users do not need to worry about their data being sent into, across the internet. Real-time analysis. Although client-side hardware may be slow, it's almost certainly faster than waiting to retrieve a result from a server when you need to uploading big data in a byte network, it makes a live stream video analysis possible. Even with no connection to internet, client-side machine learning experience wouldn't be broken. When client-side AI applications are developed with JavaScript, uh, AI developers can easily enable consistent AI experience cross-platform, accelerate performance by utilizing GPUs, and distribute the experience to users without asking for any libraries and drivers installation. Slide 4. Similar to TensorFlow.js, uh, OnyxJS is another framework to provide capability of running machine learning models with JavaScript. Model format OnyxJS support is uh, Onyx. So allow me to give a brief introduction of Onyx first. Onyx stands for Open Neural Network Exchange. It's an open standard for representing machine learning models. As a standard, it defines three things an extensible computation graph, standard data types, and built-in operators. Here is an example of Onyx model. This spec supports both DNN and traditional machine learning models. Slide 5. As an open standard, the beauty of Onyx is framework interoperability. As long as a model is trained through a framework which supports Onyx, you can convert that model to Onyx format. Here are some of the popular frameworks uh, that support Onyx conversion. For some of, some of these, uh, like PyTorch, 
Onyx format export is built in natively. And for others, like um, TensorFlow Keras, there are separate installable package that can handle conversion. There is already support for many um, popular models, including object detection, um, like fast RCN, um, speech recognition, and NLP, including BERT and other transformers. Slide 6. Since Onyx community was established in 2017 by Microsoft and Facebook, it has been attracting more and more companies to join. Today, the uh, Onyx community is made up of over 40 companies. Last year, Onyx uh, project was accepted um, into Linux Foundation as a graduated project. This is a key milestone in establishing Onyx as a vendor-neutral open format standard. Slide 7. OnyxJS is a pure JavaScript implementation of Onyx framework, which allows users to run Onyx models in a browser and load JS. OnyxJS optimized model inference on both CPU and GPU by leveraging several advanced technology techniques. I will talk about the detail later. The graph on the left is a high-level architecture of OnyxJS. Graph engine will load Onyx model file, then interpret it to your model DAG. Then execute, execution engine will call appropriate backend to execute the model to get the output. There are three backends enabled, two for CPU uh, using JavaScript and WebAssembly separately, and one for GPU using WebGL. Also, OnyxJS uh, Onyx provides profiler, logger, and other utilities for easily debugging and analysis. Except, uh, uh, except uh, Firefox on Android, OnyxJS supports all browsers on the major platforms, so you can easily build up your AI applications across platforms with OnyxJS. For running on CPU, OnyxJS adopts a web assembly to accelerate the model at near native speed. Web assembly aims to execute at native speed by taking advantage of common hardware capabilities available on a wide range of platforms. It's generally much faster than JavaScript for heavy workloads in a uh, machine learning tasks. JavaScript is dynamically uh, typed and garbage collected, which can cause significantly slowdown at runtime. Based on our evaluation, compared to JavaScript, uh, WebAssembly can improve the performance by over 11 times. We have enabled um, WebAssembly as one CPU backend since OnyxJS was open sourced in uh, 2018. One year later, um, TensorFlow.js started exploring uh, WebAssembly. Furthermore, OnyxJS utilizes WebWorker to provide a multi thread environment for uh, operator parallelization. Originally, WebWorker was introduced to unblock uh, UI rendering. It allows you to create an additional thread to run um, other non-run computation separately. OnyxJS uh, leverage WebWorker to enable parallelization within heavy operators, which significantly improve the performance on machines with multi cores. By taking full advantage of our WebAssembly and WebWorker, the final result shows an over 19 times speed up on CPU with four cores. Slide 9. 
Uh, WebGL is adopted for GPU acceleration. Uh, WebGL is a popular standard for accessing GPU cap uh, capabilities. It's a JavaScript API for rendering interactive 2D and 3D graphics within any compatible web browser. WebGL is based on OpenGL, which provides direct access to a computer's GPU. Graphics creation in JavaScript is similar to machine learning because it requires fast processing power to animate and draw um, detailed vectors. Based on WebGL, RSJs enable many op optimizations for reducing data transfer between CPU and the GPU, as well as reducing C uh, GPU processing cycle to further push the performance to the uh, maximum. Here is a chart uh, showing performance improvements along with uh, some major optimizations. Finally, we were able to reduce the latency of ResNet 50 on GPU by more than three times. Slide 10. Okay, if you want to run a model with OnyxJS, um, here is end-to-end -end flow. You can train a model uh, through any framework uh, supporting Onyx, uh, convert it to Onyx format using public conversion tools. Then you can inference the converted model with OnyxJS with ease. Slide 11. Um, this is an HTML example to use OnyxJS. Uh, Measuring three steps create an Onyx session, a node Onyx model, and generate inputs. Then run the model with the session run. Slide 12. Also, you can use NPM and bundling tools to use OnyxJS. Slide uh, 13. To demonstrate uh, in web ML capability and help users ramp up with OnyxJS more easily, we built up OnyxJS demo website. Uh, five models are enabled on this website. Uh, here is an example of running Unimodal in a browser. You can choose different backend on um, CPU or GPU. Since Ulo is real-time neural network for object detection, in addition to image detection, we implemented real-time detection scenario through your local camera. Slide 14. OnyxJS is evolving, and we'd love to embrace your contribution. Here are three major buckets to make OnyxJS better. Currently, OnyxJS supports limited uh, Onyx operators. We need to catch up with evolving Onyx spec. There are still a lot of opportunities to further optimize OnyxJS performance. Uh, for example, on WebN, Web a neural network is one promising tech Onyx can integrate. Some experimental results have already showed very good performance gain. Lastly, more demos can help um, attract more users by promoting OnyxJS capabilities. Okay, um, that's the end. I uh, hope you enjoy this talk. Thanks.